Hey guys, welcome back to Cara's Kitchen and today on Cookmas Day 13, we are making a scrumptious key lime cake. So we're gonna start off with our dry ingredients. We have three cups of all-purpose flour, some salt, and some baking powder. And don't worry, I will have the exact measurements in the description box below. Anyways, just whisk all your dry ingredients together and now we're gonna move on to our wet batter. So we're gonna start off with some shortening and two sticks of softened unsalted butter. And you just want to blend the two until it's nice and creamy. And don't forget to scrape down the sides of your bowl to make sure everything is incorporated. Once everything is nice and creamy, you can start adding your sugar. We're going to take three cups of sugar and add it gradually. So I kind of messed up right here. I was supposed to add one egg at a time and mix it, but I started off with my flour instead. But if you're gonna make this, just add your eggs first and then alternate your milk and your flour. This doesn't affect the cake any, it just makes it harder to mix. And now I'm going in with my eggs, but remember, add your egg first, and then you want to alternate your flour mixture and your milk. Once you get everything blended, you can now start adding your vanilla, lime juice, and your lime zest. And that is it for our cake batter. Now you just wanna pour that batter into our greased and floured bunt pan. And you wanna make sure you have a 12 cup bunt pan.
Once you get your batter in there, just make sure you give it a few shakes and tap it on the countertop just to get all those bubbles out of there. And we're gonna let this bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and 15 minutes. So while our cake is baking, we are going to make the glaze for it. So for the glaze, you would need powdered sugar, some limes, and vanilla. And you just want to add enough lines until you reach the right consistency. And of course, once your cake has cooled off, you just flip it over onto your plate and pour that glaze right on top. Once you get that glaze on there, all you have to do is cut you a piece and that is it. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below what's your favorite dessert. Also, don't forget to give me a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more food content. And I will see you in my next video.